got through the first one already. Nothing much else to do out there. Why don't you have one, darling? Might take that look off your face. It's just like you not to take this seriously. So, she's not that good at maths. Big deal. No one needs maths these days anyway. You don't stand in the supermarket trying to work out X over Y when you're trying to calculate the bill. I've managed without it. Oh yes, Yanos, you've managed just fine without it. How much money did you manage to bring in last month? Oh, zero, I think it was. Yes, thank you, Cecilia, because I had just about forgotten that little fact. Nobody wants to buy frog-shaped tents. Then how come I've got a meeting at Millet's next week? For legal reasons, and to make things more exciting, the names in this story have been changed. There was a grumpy but well-meaning frog queen who was married to a lovely but lazy king. The king and queen used to live happily together in their lily pad kingdom. The frog king had an idea that would make them even richer than they were. The frog queen was forced to go off on a great quest to find work, whilst the king stayed in the kingdom to finish working on his brilliant idea. An idea that would make them millions. I do the reading most of the time. I read to her, I tell her all the nice stories. You spend every fucking hour in that damned office. She's going to grow up to be a drifter that can read. You're just pissed off if she's bad at math. The frog princess just wanted to hop around and eat flies all day with the king and queen, but they would shout at each other, worrying about their kingdom. The princess had to come up with an idea to stop them arguing. Did you remember to wipe your shoes, Butter? Mum, I'm ten now. I think I'm a bit old to be called Button. Oh, what shall I call you then? Well, I'm still thinking about that. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Wait, 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 wait. I want Dad to see me throw them out. Here I come. Go on, pull them out. Okay. Before they ruin your breakfast. <laughs> Yay! Yay! Happy birthday, darling. <laughs> Oh, ten years old. You know what that means? Um, double digits. No. Double ribbits. Ribbit. 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 <laughs> Up before nine. This is an honour. Oh, you want to give it a rest today? <laughs> oh, I finally decided what I want for my present. Well, it's about time. Any longer, I'd wait for next year's birthday. What do you want, sweetie? A games console. I like the one that Sarah's got. But you've already got one. Yeah, but it's really old, and you can't do all the cool things with it, like sword fighting and playing tennis. Well, if you want to play tennis, there's a racket in the garage. I think Mummy and me can sort something out. Yeah, Nos. Really? Yeah. You're only ten once. Go on, eat your pancakes. Thanks. Do you know how much those things cost? Well, dear, you're the accountant. I'll leave that much up to you. Well then, I'll go off to work to earn some money so that we can eat, and you can let your daughter know why she can't have a games console for her birthday. <sighs> well, I'm off to work. Right -o. Have a good day, sweetie. Okay, have bye. Have a good day. Okay, darling, I'm gonna go outside and do a bit more work, and then we'll go out. Sound good? Sounds good. Okay, okay. enjoy. Okay.
boom, boom. Mm, mm, went the little green frog one day. Mm, mm, went the little green frog. Mm, mm, went the little green frog one day. And the frog went, mm, mm, ah. And the frog went, la di da di da. Well, right, stop, stop, stop. Cut, 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 cut. La di da di da. Yeah. Doesn't this frog know the words? No. No, it just says, la di da di da. La di da di da. La di da. Do you know what that sounds like? It sounds, it sounds like daddy, 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 laddie, daddy, 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 that's what your mother calls me sometimes. Isn't that funny? Been travelling this world for 30 years, jumped from town to town, met a lot of girls out there, and knocked a hundred men down, baby. I said not to have another go on that spinning wheel. You're right. Yeah. When are you going to move back into the house, Janos? 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 <laughs> what happened to Daddy? I think saying Daddy sounds a bit childish now. Well. Until you have kids of your own and move out, I'd like to at least be called Dad, thanks very much. But when are you? Uh, Helen, Daddy's working on important designs for his tent right now, you know? To show to all the big companies so I'll get lots of money to buy my lovely girl the presents she wants. And staying in the tent helps you think about tents. So for the time being, I'm going to stay in the tent, all right? Well, why can't you work in Cecilia's study? Because that's Mummy's. Study. Well, I could build a tent and you could work in there. I don't think Mummy would like that very much. Listen, um, Helen, about your birthday present. Yeah. The games console? Yeah. Hold that thought. Hello. Speaking. Yeah, no, I've got the designs all ready for you. Shamrock. Shamrocks. Well, um, yeah, I suppose I could rework the design. Sure, have it for you in about half a day. Yeah, no problem. Thanks for calling. Bye. <laughs> Behave. You ruin your eyes. <laughs> Listen, Helen, darling, uh, about your birthday present. Yeah. Oh, Mum, look what we got. <laughs> and how's your day been so far? I was just explaining to Helen about her birthday present. Ooh, which she better open. <gasps> OMG, got it, yes. Clementine? No way. Uh... <gasps> oh my God. <gasps> this is the one I wanted. This is the one that you can go around like, like a princess all day and you can chop people's heads off with the sword. <laughs> well, I'm glad that's what your mother thinks you should be doing. And what have you been doing all day? We've been into town, had a lovely picnic, didn't we, Helen? Oi, you. Want to play what? a real game? Oh, um, yeah. Um, what one? Any you like. Will you play, Mum? I don't know what it is yet. Yeah, come on, you're up for a good game. We can't sit around all day playing games now, can we? Leapfrog! Leapfrog! Yes! Right. And you have to see how far you can jump each time. Ah, so it's like Olympic leapfrog. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Ready? Go that way. Right. Ribbit. 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 Ah. Ribbit. Ah. I'm gonna catch you. <laughs> no, you can't. Go and watch the Lion King now. Yeah, okay. Did you get the film? Helen's getting it, isn't she? Well, where is she then? I don't know. I don't want to watch the bloody Lion King. What are you doing out there, darling? Helen, what are you doing? Helen, unlock this door. 
I'll unlock the door when you two sit down and work things out. Helen, listen to your mother. Open this door. Don't worry, I'll stay out in the tent to give you some space. I'm quite serious, young lady. If you don't unlock this door, I'll take that games console straight back. She's locked all the doors. Don't worry, I've got plenty of food out here too. Helen, let us out and I'll buy the other game. Yeah, nice. I'll check on you in the morning. Oh, I can't believe she's done this. And so, the frog princess locked up her bickering parents in the castle until they saw the error of their ways. And even though she knew that she would be locked up in the dungeon for a few hours the next day, it would be worth it because it would make the kingdom a happier place in the long run. And fairy tales should have happy endings. Bye.